Tell us uh, what happened. We'll start with 192 Seymour Street. Um, our officers were dispatched back to the Hartford Hospital on a report of uh, two males arriving for treatment of gunshot wounds. Uh, one initially, a 19-year-old male, uh, was struck in the neck by gunfire. Uh, he was listed in critical condition. Uh, that victim has since been listed in stable condition. <clears throat> Second male attempting to get himself to the hospital on foot was picked up by a, an ambulance. Um, he was suffering from another gunshot wound that was uh, considered to be non-life threatening. Um, we do have some good video in that case. Uh, detectives have been working that along with other cases that happened overnight. Uh, all night they are making some headway. Um, lots of people out in the street on Seymour Street. Lots of people out in the street on Cleveland Street last night. Um, Fourth of July weekend is typically a very uh, busy weekend. Uh, potential for violence, not just here in Hartford, but nationwide. It is a very busy weekend. Uh, which brings me to Cleveland Avenue. Uh, reports of shots fired. Uh, officers arrived there very quickly. They were already in the area due to saturated patrols and saturated uh, details that were out all night last night. Located a female unresponsive inside a vehicle. That female. Uh, had been transported to uh, an area hospital where she was pronounced deceased. We also located a male victim, um, both victims in the 20s, uh, suffering from non-fatal gunshot injury. Um, we believe that was a volley of gunfire. We believe that both victims were unintended targets. They just happened to be stuck in a packed street uh, when two parties, two groups of parties were firing at each other. Uh, that investigation is, is uh, progressing quite rapidly. We believe that we've identified at least three people of interest in that case. So um, that is progressing. Again, the detective been here all night. Major Crimes has been canvassing both, both these scenes, looking for witnesses. Uh, crime Scene Division been here all night processing evidence. We do have evidence in both cases that are being processed, <clears throat> both ballistic evidence and forensic evidence that will be sent to the lab. <clears throat> so we're, we're hopeful on both these cases. Um, questions? North Main Street has, has some nightclubs. Again, from what I understand, it was 4th of July celebrations. Lots of people out um, at closing time is when the disappearance would have happened. Not at this point. We're, we're pretty close to putting out the female, the homicide victim's uh, name. I just want to make sure the next kin has been notified and we're all set with that. In the Cleveland Avenue, I'm not calling them suspects yet. I'm calling them person of interest. We we have spoken to a couple of them at least. So, uh, again, that investigation is progressing rapidly. Again, these two victims from Cleveland. Again, uh, poor girl lost her life. She had nothing to do with any of this. So, very saddening, disturbing. Shouldn't have happened. It happened. So, um, I do expect that case to come to a close. Are you aware of which uh, homicide uh, there may be here? This is number ten. Uh, we did experience a, a little bit of a lull. Uh, we're down 33% in homicides this year compared to last year. We went the whole month of June without one, uh, which was which was nice. <clears throat> Non-fatal shootings again. We're down. We're down again. Um, we're down both compared to last year and two years. We're down quite a bit. So we did experience a lull. Um, it appears that that, had, that ended last night. Let's hope it was just contained to the Fourth of July weekend, and uh, we'll see. There are going to be extra patrols out tonight. All weekend long, just like there was last night, extra patrols. You'll see the community service officers out there. You'll see every division out there working all hours of the night to try to prevent any violence that might occur. What's the message to the city? It's still early in the summer. There's a lot more we can do. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What's the message to the city as the summer is continuing after the time of violence? Um, I would say when you see these things happening, don't wait for the gunshots to go off. Please give us a call. We have a tip line that I personally monitor. We have 911, we have the main number. Um, let us know what's going on so we can get there. The resources are out there, but we can't be everywhere at once. If something's heating up, if something's happening, and we know about it, we can get there and hopefully prevent it. So don't be afraid to call police. You could be anonymous. You could say, hey, there's a large gathering over here. You better get over here, we're coming. So uh, it's about keeping everybody safe, it's about keeping the, the, the public safe, the police safe is the goal. So uh, if you see something, say something. I know it's a little cliche, but it, it works. Everybody good? Thank you for All right, guys. Thank you.